Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you all about why life is a series of choices. And where you are now is exactly where all your choices have led you to be, fellas. It's true. It's true. Think about it. You have a choice to make on what kind of mindset you're going to attack the day with. You have a choice to make as far as if you're even going to get up and do anything. You could choose to call off work and stay in bed all day. Or you can wake up and choose to say, hey, I'm going to put in a, a full day's work. I'm going to give this day a max effort and just see what happens and see where I end up. If you look back over the course of your life, you realize that where you are right now, the job you have, the career you have, the things you have accomplished or not accomplished, the degree you have or don't have, even the woman you're with, everything falls back on a series of choices. Some of us make good ones, some of us make bad ones. But where we are now is a cumulative effect of the choices that we've made. Now, at the end of the day, all of us have had times where we haven't really made the right choice. We've done something that we probably shouldn't have done. We've made a mistake, which all of us are capable of doing. But at the end of the day, you gotta be resilient. You gotta have a strong enough mindset to bounce back from uh, those mistakes. You can't let one or two or three or even 10 mistakes keep you down. You gotta get back on track and start to make good choices again. And that is called being resilient, fellas. You can't just sit there and uh, keep your head in the sand and just give up. That's weak. That's just a weak mentality. You're not gonna get anything accomplished uh, doing things that way. The most successful people have all been through the fucking mud, generally speaking. Most people aren't handed a silver spoon in their mouth. Some are, sure, fellas, but those are still the, the minority. Most people have to do it themselves. And so you always have the option of what kind of guy you want to be. You do. And here's the thing, guys, you make your own luck. You make your own luck by the work that you put in, by your consistency, by your habits, by your discipline. Do you have any discipline? Do you have the discipline to actually do what you said you were going to do? Because to me, there's nothing worse than a guy who says he's going to do something and then he doesn't follow through on that thing. There's nothing worse than that. That's lazy. That's lame. Just sitting around expecting a handout, expecting things to go your way. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody. So when I just when I see people with this mindset of weakness, With this woe is me, oh man, oh man, shoot. It, it literally drives me insane. And I think that's why, you know, my circle is so small. And even within my circle, I'm still very much a loner. Because I just don't have patience for even being around and listening to the bullshit. I have no patience for complainers or excuse makers or people who get who get so stuck up on uh, the past, the past events, this one horrible thing that happened, this one woman who left, oh my ex, you oh you don't understand Sean, my ex just crushed my heart and so now I can't even go to work. I can't get anything accomplished and done because I'm just so heart sick and heartbroken. I'm going to do something crazy, Sean. 
because she left. Why, fellas? How does that even make sense? Fellas, as a man, you have to be able to compartmentalize. You can't let this one area of your life affect every aspect of your life. I mean, you can if you want to, but that's not going to be very conducive towards you becoming successful. A successful man is a man who is progressively working towards a goal or an ideal. Shout out to Earl Nightingale. If you are making steps towards your goal, your plan, your ideal, you are already successful. So when I talk about success, it's not this destination that you've already made it to. It's not some guy sitting up on his high horse thinking he's better than anybody. Each and every one of us is a fucking success if we're moving towards the thing. The only people who I consider unsuccessful are those who are sitting over there bitching and moaning and complaining and not doing anything and just continuing to make bad choice after bad choice because they're in their fucking feelings. And they don't want to do anything to improve their situation. To me, that's lame. You can call it what you want it, but to, to, uh, to me, that's lame. I believe in progressively getting better to the day we die. It doesn't matter if we've got five years left on this planet, 10 years, 30, 40, 70, however many we have left, our goal is to continue to improve each and every day. It doesn't matter what happened five years ago. It doesn't matter what happened in your past. It doesn't matter about this ex who left. Everything can be replaced. Everything, fellas, even a shitty mindset, even a shitty choice. Even then, you create your own reality. No matter what the outside situation looks like. No matter what this person or that person is telling you about your situation. As long as you have the right attitude and the right mindset internally, you can create your own reality right there where you are in the situation that you're currently in. Life is a series of choices. And if you continue to make shitty choices, then your outcome is going to be a shitty outcome, fellas. But it doesn't have to stay that way. You decide. You can change the, the course of your life by choosing to make different choices. If you continue to choose the same thing and you continue to hang out with these same bum ass motherfuckers that you've always hung out with, and then you wonder why your reality is a fucking a mess and you're living in this, this rundown uh, neighborhood and you hate your fucking job and you're constantly getting in trouble, et cetera, et cetera, whatever the case is, yet you continue to hang out with those same people. You continue to spend your weekends drinking and smoking and chilling and playing fucking video games. Well, what do you think's gonna happen, fellas? All of your free time is being spent with a beer in your hand and a video game controller in the other. What is going to change? Fellas, I've said it on my channel uh, numerous times, especially when I first started. I haven't really talked about it much, but your boy loves video games. I fucking love video games. I grew up a video game head. I play Madden and 2K for hours back in the day. All fucking day, all night. Drinking, smoking, playing my video games. Fellas, when I decided to get serious about becoming successful and improving my life, I sold my PlayStation. This was back when it was PlayStation 4. I sold that shit. This was like, like eight or nine years ago now at this point. And I haven't owned a video game console since because I don't have time for video games. You know what my video game is now? Real life. 
instead of trying to get my my player to a 99 i'm trying to get my real life my player to a fucking 99 i'm playing a real life video game now i made the choice that i don't have time for the fucking games even though i love them i was even considering the other day hmm i'm doing okay for myself nowadays maybe i should go get a playstation 5 Maybe I should go get one and start playing some games and have a little entertainment system at home now. But then I said, hmm, nah, I don't want to. I made a choice to keep that shit out of my life because I know that sitting around playing the fucking video game is a waste of a grown man's time. Now, if you are someone who can play in moderation a couple hours a week, and that's, you know, how you enjoy yourself. I have zero issue with that. I just know for me, it's too much of a distraction. I already have something that I truly enjoy doing, which is, you know, watching my sports, my Bears games. All that shit takes up hours of my week as it is. So adding more things that keep you stuck, it isn't for me. So again, fellas, that's a choice that I made that helped improve my life. And it was a sacrifice that I had to give up. What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice anything that you truly enjoy for the betterment of your life in the future? Are you willing to sacrifice having a really nice car or a really nice impart apartment for a couple years in order to set yourself up for the rest of your life? I think it was Jim Carrey who once said that if you're not willing to downgrade your lifestyle for a year in order to set yourself up for success for life, then you don't really want success bad enough. And I couldn't agree more because not only did I sacrifice for a year, man, I sacrificed for like five to seven years of downgraded lifestyle. I just recently went and got myself a really nice place but before that, I was living uh, very, 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 very below my means for a very long time in order to pay off debt, in order to start saving and investing, and in order to completely flip my financial situation. Those are sacrifices that I made. Those are the choices that I made. And that's why now, after almost a decade long of sacrifices, now I can have that nice place. Now I can live where I, where I really want to live. Now I have choices that can make and I have a little bit of freedom and wiggle room. And some of you all may look at me and say, oh man, you're lucky, bro. You're lucky. No, I ain't nothing lucky about this. I made my own luck. Fucker. I made my own luck by the sacrifices that I put in. What are you willing to sacrifice while you're sitting up there with an opinion what are you willing to sacrifice? Make different choices, get different results, fellas. Wherever you are right now, it's because you fucking chose to be there. Slowly over time, lots of small choices led you to exactly where you are. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in and day out. And fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Come pledge to my Patreon. Link is in the description. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never captain space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.